You don't have to be at the gym to work out your abs. We're here at Exhale in Santa Monica, California with core fusion and yoga instructor, Elise Joan. She's gonna show us a whole five minute ab routine you can do at home. Okay, Anna, we're all set up for our first pose of five. This is called a forward folding abdominal work and it actually is full body as you'll find out. So let's just go ahead and bring the heels a little bit in front of the knees, flex the feet. Now I'm gonna lift tall through the spine, hinge forward till my chest rests on the thighs and bring my fingertips forward. Then I'm gonna just slide my heels forward a bit, activate my navel to spine connection and then try lifting one leg at a time. That's our level one. See if you can hinge forward and place the weight in the fingertips and then we'll try both legs. And if you can skip the lowering of the heels, that makes it advanced. So we do heavy reps, no added weight. Last four, three, two, and one. We're gonna add on, so go ahead and extend the legs straight, point the toes, this time turn out from the hips. See if you can hinge forward a little more, you got it. And again, one leg at a time, it's our level one. You're super strong, so we're gonna go ahead and kick it up to level two. Lift both legs for three, two, one. Our second move is a variation on the reverse curl. So the good news is we get to start lying on our back, extend the legs directly over the hips, and then go ahead and turn out those legs. Okay, so from here you're gonna lower the legs halfway down and lift them back to vertical. All the while you wanna keep the navel drawing in toward the spine and the spine pressing gently down onto the mat. Let's add on. We're gonna start to cross the ankles. We call it a beat. So we're gonna go ahead and point the toes, reach through the legs and beat halfway down and then back up. Last one, halfway down, and back up. Great, bring the heels together, and since we're doing so well, we're gonna kick it up a notch, lower those legs about halfway down, and go ahead and try from here, lower within an inch of the mat, and then we'll add on those beats. Crossing at the ankles, lower the legs, engage the belly, and halfway up. Now you should feel this all the way through those legs. You're getting nice, long, lean muscle tone through those legs. Now for the finale, a little hold, just an inch off the mat, and all the way back up. Now time for our third move. This is Exhale's signature core move, the curl position. So feet planted strongly. We always wanna inhale and get length in the spine first, and then on the exhale, we take that length, start to tuck under, and roll down one vertebra at a time. So you, ideally, you wanna find that spot where your back waist is connected to the mat. Your toes can kind of slide in toward you as feels comfortable. Shoulder tops press away from the ears. Nice, Anna. Elbows bend high and wide. Abs draw in. And if you can see, my shoulder blades are off the mat. That keeps my neck nice and safe. So lift the chin off the chest. Engage the belly. Next level, abs in. Both hands up. Let's take a few presses. Exhale on the press. Let's double the tempo. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Three, two, on one. Hold on. See if you can curl up just a little bit more. Lift the chin and releasing both arms. Curl it all the way back up to sit. Our fourth move is an expansion on that curl position. So let's begin. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, find that length in the spine. And on the exhale, start to roll down to your curl position. So the basic part of curl doesn't change. Shoulders down, belly in, curling off the scapula. So we're gonna add a bicycle. Let's bring the right knee over the hip and extend the left leg long. Almost imagine you were curling up to kiss the knee. Great, now we'll add some movement. Switch legs. Good, and continue to breathe as you switch those legs. We're gonna add on by taking a twist across the body. So you'll catch the outer thigh and twist from the core just below the ribs. This will target your oblique muscles and your transverse core as well as the front abdominal wall. I think we can handle one more lift in intensity. Add the palms to prayer without catching the thighs. So let's try one more each side. Twist it to the right, to the left. Our last move is the grand finale. One more expansion on that curl position. Go ahead and come on up to sit on the toes. Inhale, lift through the spine. And on the exhale, start to roll down to that back waist. Extend the legs, engage the belly. Imagine curling the lowest ribs over the abs, lift the chin and see an imaginary rope. And from there, we're just gonna reach arm over arm, pulling our heart up the rope. Great, Anna, let's try about four more. One, pull two, and three, and there's four. Without fully resting, catch the thighs, and see if we can curl that heart up one inch deeper. 
Great, and then from here, release the arms. This is where it gets a little bit more intense. We're gonna lower the legs halfway and lift the arms a few inches. And then bring the legs back up, catch the thighs and curl. One last set, deep as you can go, legs lower, arms lift, big inhale, and exhale, lie down, hug the knees, rock and roll your way up to sit. And that's our five minutes of core work. Great, thank you so much, Elise. Thank you, Anna. Thanks for watching New Beauty.